might think would happen. You put your whole self in, you take your whole self out, you put your whole self in, and you think it all goes out. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. speaking to me about ink, and I had lots of excuses. Why not? I traveled too much. I didn't have enough time. I worked in St. Louis, Missouri as a flight attendant, and I lived in St. Petersburg, Missouri. I also left St. Petersburg to live somewhere else for seven months during the spring and the summer. I had six friends in Florida. I had a lot of acquaintances, but I only had six friends in Florida, and nobody was interested in me. Yet. You know, any excuse will do to not do something. But what if you put your whole self in? So I went to Humans Being More training, and at that weekend, I made a decision. I'm putting my whole self in. I love what Meekin does. I love the products. I love the people. I always like to make a difference. This is a business with a purpose. So I decided to play full out from that weekend on. And now every week, there's several things that I do to keep myself plugged in. I have a mastermind call every Thursday morning. I've done that for 16 years with a group of six people all across North America. We brainstorm, we share different ideas. We talk about possibility and what's working and what we want to create in our futures. It's also all the time support whenever I need it. Anybody's just a phone call away. That's like everybody in Meekin. They're always just a phone call away. So take advantage of that. discussing a book together, we're talking about our wins of the week, we're being held accountable, what are our activities, what are we doing? Who wants to come to a phone call and say, oh, well, I didn't do anything this week? No. Okay, we all have a little bit of a competitive edge, right? Well, you know, it's time to develop it. Let's see, and out of that, I also have two accountability calls five mornings a week at 7.30 in the morning. I'm somebody that didn't even used to get up before 9 o'clock, so for me to have two phone calls at 7.30 and 7.45 in the morning, five days a week, that's putting my whole self in. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and then I was asked to do a support call for the Kansas Vital Balance, the most perfect meal replacement in the world. And I took that on. So on Tuesday and Friday mornings from 8.30 to 9 a.m. Eastern, I have a support call. Tuesday mornings is learning about one of the NECAN products, and a lot of that information I pull right off of NECAN's document library. I've learned a lot myself in the last 18 months of doing this phone call. And then Friday morning is Brainstorm Friday. So first off, we are helping individuals that might be on the eating plan, and they're not seeing the success. So we, we find out what's going on, and we help them to uh, tweak it. And if, the, if nobody's going to have any issue with that, then we uh, go into whatever else challenges might be happening. And this phone call has turned into quite the amazing phone call. It's been very exciting, all the amazing people that are on this call from all over North America. Some of these people are getting up at 5.30 in the morning to be on that call. That's dedication. That's putting her own self in. So through Humans Being More, we are also taught to... Uh, Get out of our boxes. We're all born in a box, right? And then we come up against that box and some people back up. Well, in ECAN, we learn to uh, break through those boxes. And a wise person once told me, you only need 15 seconds of courage to do anything. You only need 15 seconds to actually get up on the stage and look, I'm still alive. I didn't melt in a pool here on the floor. You only need 15 seconds to do anything. And I'll do anything for my team that I may not do for myself, but I'll do it for them. And that continues to stretch my box. In fact, uh, at the Royal Alliance in May, watching all these fun weekend people sing karaoke, that was another one of my greatest fears, just to sing in front of a group. Well, okay, I just did it today. You all saw it happen. I can ballroom dance anywhere. I always said, I'll, I'll dance. You guys can sing. But it's breaking, you know, pushing those barriers so we can be that human more, and we can be the person we're destined to be. What is your destiny? Why are you here? What is your purpose? And what is your intent? Who do you want to be? Be 
because Nikan gives us all those opportunities to become that if we choose to put our whole selves in. Now, it's not just about working. It's about playing. It's about having fun. Uh, I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. Any opportunity I have to be out on the ocean or in the ocean, playing with the dolphins, scuba diving, snorkeling, sailing, boating, I don't care, paddleboarding, if you invite me, I will go. I love it. In fact, uh, my favorite way to travel is on a cruise ship. And Barbara Bertuzzi and I were asked to do a cruise next September 2015. It's going to be a weekend cruise. Yeah, you're all invited. Come with this. How much fun is that going to be? Now, we're not going to be in seminars all day. Because, like I said, my main purpose is to actually be looking for whales on the horizons. Some people want to be looking for eagles to soar the eels. I'm going to be with the whales. And that's my, that's my mission. But that's fun for me. I love traveling. And the great thing about cruises, somebody else drives. You unpack once. There's lots of dining opportunities. You can work out every day. Or even just walking all the stairs is work out every day. There's lots of fun to be had. So I invite you all to come. Now, about a year ago, actually on the way back from the Las Vegas convention, my great friend Temple Hayes gave me the first few chapters of her book to read, to check it out, to share my opinion. And it's the theme of, when did you die? Now, what that means is whenever we're doing things that don't inspire us, that we don't like to do, we die a little. And it's become a benchmark for my friends the last year. In fact, uh, we're like, oh, you might die a little if you keep doing that. You, you might die a little if you keep dating that person. <laughs> and I really choose to do things that inspire me. When I, I, I remember just uh, last month doing a rollout, I was just sitting there waiting for this gentleman to be uh, done relaxing on the Nikan sleep system. And I, I love what I do. Nikian inspires me. I love making a difference. I love introducing people to opportunities and possibilities that can change their whole future. That's what Nikian has done for me. And in closing, there's a story. I have to tell a story. So there's this mother. She's outside, and her son, she's watching her son play pitch baseball by himself. So he's tossing the ball in the air. He swings, and he misses. Picks up another ball, he tosses it in the air, he swings and he misses again. So then he really sets himself up. Picks up a ball, tosses it in the air, and he misses again. So he walks away and he says, Great pitcher. <laughs> That's what it's all about.